Hi guys, welcome to Travel with Austin. I'm Austin. Today I'm here in Zanesville, Ohio, and we're going to be doing a quick little video of the Zanesville Lock House for Lock and Dam number 10. Now I was really hoping that I would be able to go up closer to this and show it off and show off the lock here, but for some reason this whole area is fenced off. Even if you look way across the street over there on the other side of the lock they have caution tape. I have no idea what is going on or why it's like this, but I did walk about half a mile to get here, so I'm just going to make a quick little video, just so that wasn't exactly for nothing. Hopefully in the future I'll be able to come back and do a more detailed video and show off the lock here. Now the Zanesville Lock and Dam um, are part of a series of 112 mile stretch of the Muskingum River where locks were built from 1836 to 1841. Now, um, this lock here was improved by the Army Corps in 1887 and again in 1891. Now, of course, we can't see the lock, so I'm not going to get super into its history because it has some really exciting things that, you know, you can only really take appreciation of when you can actually see it. Now, standing here right now is the Zanesville Lock House, now known as the Lock Tender's House. It is a two-story simulated stone concrete building. Now, I'm not really sure what simulated stone means, um, unless it's just that, if you can see how they make it kind of look like it looks like bricks. Now... This was probably built in 1915 after a flood that happened in 1913. In 1978, it was placed on the National Register of Historic Places. And it says online that this is now known as the Lock Tenderer's House. And that the person who operates the lock today, which generally, other than right now where you can see it is completely blocked off and, you know, even from the water... Generally, there is someone who operates this lock, and apparently this is where they live. Now, I'm not sure that this is true, because if you look, you know, you can see we got some cracks in the side of the building. Everything is boarded up, and in the attic area, we do have some broken windows. So, I'm not exactly sure, you know, when this would have changed, um, but online on the Ohio Department of Natural Resources website, it is still listed as the lock tender's house. I just don't think it's very likely, but I, I could be wrong. So sadly, this is really all I can show you today. Hopefully I'll be able to come back in the future and this area will no longer be roped off. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and I'm so sorry that it is not a full video looking over the whole area, but sadly that is currently out of my control. I will see you guys next time with a brand new video and thank you so much for watching.